Considering her childhood, it's astounding that Elizabeth I became the greatest female ruler of modern times. Declared a bastard at the age of two, as her mother was executed for alleged adultery and subjected to numerous humiliations in the years before she became queen, including being imprisoned by her sister Mary I, she... Would whoever is making that ridiculous noise please stop it at once? Sorry. I'm afraid I can't switch it off. Then would you kindly leave the lecture theatre? You're disturbing the other students. I, I can't really do that either, I'm afraid. The safety of the entire planet could be at stake. Hmm. During her imprisonment, Elizabeth discovered who was truly loyal to her. John Whiteside Smith, for example, one of her most trusted advisers, was appointed to her council in gratitude for the service of his parents at that difficult time. And it was thanks to him that the Spanish Armada... I'm sorry, I'm not prepared to continue under these conditions. We'll have to make the time up on Friday. Thank you. And you... Are you talking to me? You're not one of my students, are you? What do you mean, disturbing my lecture like that? It's a bit hard to explain. Try me. And come up here where I can see you properly. It's you. Will you shut that thing up? Just a few more readings. Ah. You're the nexus point. That's a new one on me. I wonder if you'd mind accompanying me to my ship for a few tests. Hmm. The students get warned about people like you on their first day. Student welcome pack, a pot noodle, hangover cure, and a tack alarm. Or are you from the faculty? That's it. You want me to think I'm loopy, so I'll retire and save you the bother of forcing me out. Well, I assure you that 55 is far too young to retire, and... I am not a member of any faculty, and I'm not trying to lure you away, but this is important. I've been tracking down a vital temporal nexus point in Earth's history, and you seem to be it. Or rather... You're connected to it in some way? I assure you, my only connection to Earth's history is in the field of Tudor scholarship. Really? I could have sworn it was Tudor fiction. I beg your pardon. Well, that lecture you were giving, all that Whiteside Smith stuff, utter nonsense. There was no such person. No, there certainly was. As a matter of fact, he happens to be an ancestor of mine, and the family records are quite clear on his role in history. And I happen to have been to the court of Elizabeth I, and there was no such... Ah. What now? You're related to a supposedly important historical figure of whom I know nothing. Ah, it's the nexus point, it has to be. Now, I wonder if I could examine these family records, Ms. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Smythe. Evelyn. Doctor. So you know mine? I'm sorry? You know my name. I'm the doctor. No, I'm the doctor. Well, a doctor. Ah, an academic doctor, of course. Well, wouldn't you say this was a rather academic problem. Conflicting sources, an eyewitness account that disagrees with your written records. But the problem is truly academic, as one of those sources is quite obviously a madman. Elizabeth died in 1603, and you certainly don't look 400 years old. <laughs> Francis Drake used to say the same thing. May I be struck down with dysentery if you're a day over 350, Doctor, <laughs> he once said. I was so overcome I let him beat me at bowls. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Don't be so narrow-minded. Look upon this as an intellectual challenge. I'm going home. Goodbye. <laughs>